This is Kyle Bauer from the 2009 SHOT Show. I have with me Scott Roy. He's with Lawrence. Lawrence has long been known for fish finders and electronic devices that go in boats uh, to find the fish and then later on to map those lakes. Um, but that technology now has spilled into what I'll call individual navigation devices or GPS units. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Lawrence has been in the uh, the fish finder uh, industry for 52 years. We're actually probably the leading designer of some of the original chart plotters and fish finders, things like that. Uh, now dealing with a lot of new products that are out there, including our HDS products. But uh, we've been in the handheld GPS pro uh, marketplace for about 12. Uh, we have come out with a brand new product that we just rolled out Thursday here at the show. And uh, so this is um, this is our new Endura Safari product. Uh, it is the, the, the newest product to our line. We've had a line of handhelds for quite some time and um, so we're, we're very happy to be here and to, to be able to show these to, to everyone here. Now, Lawrence has also been known for bright displays, displays that could be seen out in the sunlight, and then also units that were very weather resistant. Yes, yeah. Well, and obviously with marine focus, you've got to have uh, the waterproof uh, capability. You've got to be able to see it in the sun. It's exactly the same way with the handhelds. You've got to be able to see uh, the resolution and everything and not have to have the, uh, the backlighting on because that well, on these, it burns up battery. So you've got to be able to, uh, to really see that well, have really good resolution with the fish finder type products. Then you've got to be able to see the, the fish and the structure and everything that's underwater. With these, you've got to be able to see the, uh, the topographic lines. You've got to be able to see aerial photographs if you are looking at aerial photographs, those types of things, and, and have really good displays. Uh, it gets a little more complicated when you get into uh, touchscreen because touchscreen has, you know, with the ability on there, uh, you, it's even more work to optimize that where it is very visible, still working well with the touchscreen and very, very uh, adaptable and efficient. So is that the unique thing about this? Is it's it's all touch screen, or what is unique about this unit compared to the past units? Well, the, with this and the past units and competitive units, uh, everybody's kind of been dabbling with touch screen for a while. Um, touch screen with the user interface, you know, you've seen with some of the iPhones and other things like that. There's been a an ever changing evolution of of how you use a touch screen. So this is our newest approach to how that works. Um, with our customers, we deal with customers that work, are using these in the summer, they're using them in the extreme cold in the winter, uh, all these different things, wet conditions, dry conditions. So we, we try to come up with the right solutions so that the product design works for all of those. So what we have is the combination of the touch screen along with the, the physical buttons. Uh, physical buttons are really important if you're riding mountain bikes or ATVs, you have gloves on. If you're going ice fishing in the winter, some of these different things where it gets really cold, and it, it's really important to have gloves on. So that, that comes in handy. The touch screen is just really easy to use. And, and that's the thing is it's very intuitive. You don't have to spend a lot of time reading a 68 page owner's manual to figure out how to operate it. You can just take it out of the box and, and use it. One of the leading suppliers of fish uh, finding electronics for a long time. We're visiting with Scott Roy. He's with Lawrence. I'm Kyle Bauer from the 2009 SHOT Show.